In this video, we will cover how the loading bed is assembled and outline the different configurations it can be set up in. The loading bed is only installed once the main machine has been set up. First, we need to prepare the loading bed. With the bed on its side, you can access the loading bed locking latch. This would need tightening with the use of a 40 and 17mm spanner. Start by tightening and then check to see if there is enough free play for the latch to move. If not, then undo the latch just a little. Alternate between tightening and untightening until satisfied that the latch can move but does not wiggle too much. Mounting the loading bed onto the machine is a two person task. At the rear, the rubber bungs need to be located onto this plate just behind the battery box. At the front, the tabs on the loading bed need to go over the top of the front spindle holder on the machine. Carefully lower the bed, steadily lining it up as you lower it down. To move the latch and allow the bed to sit correctly, you must first attach the latch handlebar and lever assembly. Simply fix this in place using the two bolts provided. done, use the lever to allow the bed to sit fully. Next, line up the front spindle holes. Grab the spindle assembly and assemble one end of the spindle. This includes the spindle, one washer and one arc clip. Insert the spindle assembly through both ends of the spindle hole. Finish with the final washer and R clips to secure the assembly in place. The next part is where we can configure the bed to how we want to use it. Each panel can be put on or removed independently of the other panels. Also, each panel can be adjusted indefinitely along the length of the position bars. Insert the panels you wish to use and at the lengths you wish to use them. Using the hand bolts, secure each of the panel legs by tightening the hand bolts to the underside of the mule loading bed. This clamps the panels in place. For the top rails, again each of these can be mounted in any configuration desired. Simply place the rail onto the panel, ensuring the tabs fit either side of the panel 
and the securing holes overlap. Then, use the bolts and dome head nuts provided. Insert one of the bolts into each of the securing holes and screw on the nut by hand. Now, using a 14mm and 10mm spanner, fully tighten each of these to secure the top right. You can find more helpful videos on our website at www.titan-pro.co.uk and look for the How To Videos section on the right. If you need to ask something not covered in a video, then the Titan Pro team are always here to help through our dedicated tech support email address, which is techsupport at titan-pro.co.uk.